Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Crab Stuff Soul. That's right, I've gotten a lot of requests for soul food lately. And despite so many of you spelling it wrong, I thought to myself, you know what? I love soul. And I especially like it done like this, which by the way is the easiest fancy fish recipe of all time. So let me show you how to put this together. And the first thing we're going to do is get our crab stuffing ready. So in this bowl, I have four ounces of picked Dungeness crab. That is San Francisco's official species of crab. And then to that, we're going to add just a little bit of minced green onion and a little bit of minced green pepper. Now I'm using poblano which have a beautiful, beautiful bittersweet flavor and a little bit of heat. All right, if you want something a little milder, use bell pepper. A little hotter, use jalapeno. All right, so we're going to dump that in. We're also going to give it just a little touch of lemon juice. And I'm going to squeeze in just a few drops. Oops, you see that? Squirt it on the lens. Hey, better than our eyes. And then we'll season that up a little bit with some salt and freshly ground black pepper. And then last but not least, a tablespoon of panko breadcrumbs. And yes, regular non-Japanese breadcrumbs will work. And then all we're going to do is mix that up and set it aside until needed. So easy. And then besides the stuffing, the other thing we should get ready right now is the sauce. So all we're gonna do is take a little bit of mayonnaise and add a nice shake of cayenne and some freshly grated lemon zest. Just the yellow stuff. It's just that yellow outer layer that has all the delicious lemon oils and flavors. And then we'll just give that a quick stir with our freakishly small, freakishly small wooden spoon. And once that's mixed up, it's on to the sole. And there it is. Boneless and skinless, obviously. And this was actually sold as Dover sole, although I highly doubt that. We're nowhere near Dover. But anyway, I have six pieces of sole, and we're going to lay that down on the board, but you got to pay attention to which way. The piece of fish is going to have kind of a rounded side, and then kind of a flatter side, which is going to be that side. And we want to make sure that rounded, rougher side is down, because we're going to roll them up like this. I would say if there's a narrower, skinnier end, have that facing towards you. And then we'll give that a quick sprinkling with salt before we go ahead and divide up our crab mixture between the six pieces. And you don't need to measure it out ahead of time. Just go ahead and distribute that between the six pieces. And then once you're done, if you notice one has a little more than the other, adjust. And then once those are filled, we're going to simply roll them up. Start at the smaller end and roll towards the fatter end. And I'm going to talk about this on the blog, but when you're using fillets this small and you're overstuffing them like I am here, and you roll them really tight, they will have a tendency to break open a little bit when they cook. But it's not that big of a deal, you'll see. Just something to keep in mind, try not to roll too tightly. But anyway, we're going to roll those up. And once those are done, we're going to transfer those into a lightly oiled baking dish. I just brushed a little bit of olive oil in the bottom, and we're going to place those in, and of course, evenly space them. And by the way, I really wish I had one long, skinny baking dish to do these in. So I could have lined them up and made a soul train joke. I mean, come on, Don Cornelius was one of the Chef Johns of music television. But anyway, we're going to place those in the baking dish, evenly spaced, and then it's time to sauce. And this is a two-phase process. So first, we're going to take some of the sauce on our freakishly small, freakishly small wooden spoon, and we're going to go ahead and spread that all over those rolled up pieces of sole, mostly concentrating on the sides, but you're also going to want to coat the top, which should take up about half your sauce. And once we've applied that layer, we're going to go ahead and spoon the rest into a sandwich bag that we've snipped off the tip, and we'll go ahead and pipe on the rest like this. It's just going to give that top a way more interesting appearance. And that is totally optional. If you just want to spoon everything on, go ahead. But that just fancies it up a little more. And then once we've piped that on, we're going to go ahead and finish this off with a little bit of paprika over the top. And by paprika, I mean cayenne. And then that's ready to pop in a 400 degree oven. Make sure it's preheated. And we're going to bake those at 400 for between 15 and 20 minutes or until browned and cooked through. And one tip they're done is that sole kind of splitting along those seams. But as predicted, our piped on sauce has browned up beautifully. So it still has what I think a very nice appearance. However, in the post, I'm going to give you a couple amazing tricks on how to make those tops look perfect. And at that point, we're going to transfer those onto a plate and eat. And yes, I did dust that plate with a little more cayenne. I have a problem. And I'm going to serve by them very simply with some asparagus and lemon. And for how fast and simple that was to make, you have to admit that looks pretty good. And other than a squeeze of lemon, you really don't need any sauce. Don't forget, we already piped it on there. Plus, we also have that flavorful stuffing. So above and beyond the fairly attractive looks, this really does taste fantastic. Seoul has a beautiful, sweet, mild flavor, which makes it a perfect vehicle for that slightly peppery crab filling. Just a beautiful combination. But anyway, if you were looking for a new and exciting and borderline thrilling fish recipe for your fancy dinner party repertoire, then I really hope you give this a try. So head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.